This is Dror Moshe Kasuto. Shalom Vracha. We're going to continue with our learning in the book of Bereshit. Vaikra Adam Shemot Lechola Behema Ol Ofa Shamaim. So the man got that privilege of naming all the animals and birds. Ol Chol Chayat Asadeh. And the cattle, the all, all species of animals in the world. And like I said last time, the secret of him naming the animals is a secret that is passing to our generation. That the spirit of the man, while naming someone, is passing into that one that he is naming him, that he is calling him in a name. So back then in those early days when Adam and his wife they called names to the animals because that their spirit was still healthy and calm and relaxed so they were able to call the animals and to call their nature to be relaxed and calm and good and they were not eating and fighting with and damaging each other but today when we are naming the animals and we're holding all the rage and jealousy and, and all bad attributes inside of ourselves so while we're naming them you just say a lion you like you think on a tiger like you put your mind into him you're changing his nature when we want to purify the world we need to work and purify ourselves and to the man while the man is looking to the sides and, and seeing all the animals coming in, in couples, coming in pairs, he looked to the sides and he saw that he is standing over there alone. Because like we said, uh, the nature of his creation was that the Creator made the man and his wife in one physical body in the beginning. So the Creator put sleep on the man, he put him to sleep. Vaishan, and he fell asleep. Vaikachachat mitzal otav, and he took, the Creator took one of his ribs, Vaisgor basar tachtena, and he covered the flesh, the skin, underneath it. From this verse you can see, the rib is just showing to us that a surgery, a physical surgery, and a, and a spiritual surgery took place in that time. A rib is showing to us that it was an inner organ. It was part of his being that the Creator had to cut to 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 separate them to two different bodies. And the Creator took that part, that rib that he took from the man, and he built the woman from it. So the Creator cut the man and the wife, the wife from the man out in the shape of a woman. And he brought her to the man. And it's written, um, and it's written, um, even that the Creator built her. He built Eve, and it's written on that that the Creator fixed her hair and prepared her to look good and beautiful in the eyes of Adam, of Adam. It was important for the Creator that they will like each other. And, you know, just as a reminder, when we're blessing the blessings in a wedding, we're blessing the bride and the groom, that they will have the happiness like Began Eden Mikedem, like the happiness that were belong to Adam and Eve in the earliest days in Eden. And why, what's the source of that blessing? Why we're blessing them to have a similar happiness to the happiness of Adam and Eve because when Adam and Eve were alone in heaven so there were no competitions there was no challenges to their love they were both alone and they just realized okay we meant to be and they were happy to be together and their happiness was complete and we're blessing the bride and the groom 
to have this simplicity in their mind that they will recognize in each other their soulmates and they won't look to the sides anymore and just will be happy to have a wife and to have a husband and just to spend life in, in heaven together. So he brought her to the man. And then the man said, Zot hapa'am, now I can see, etzem atzamai, she's just like me, she's like one of my bones, she's my flesh, uvasar mi b'sari, from my flesh, lezot yikare isha, and to that I'll call a wife, a woman, ki me'ish lukacha zot, because she been took out of the man. Isha means that her source in the holy ancient language of Hebrew, isha is is also the name of a woman it's like the word woman but also it means she been took out of the man isha ish so like she came out of him that's the real interpretation meaning of that word so for that alken yazov ish et aviv veet imo every man should leave his parents his father and his mother and just to glue himself to his wife and to become like one flesh that's the purpose of relationship that's the secret of happiness in, ho in houses in relationships, in families that every person will drop all of his past behind him and will dedicate all of his life, put all his power into building his own cell, building his own house, building his own future with his wife and finding the simplicity of life, the real purpose of our creation, to live happily with each other as good friends without external outside interference and, and issues just to consult and to talk and to share and to be the best friends in the world like you don't have no one else in the world because if you're really going to check it with your honest eyes you're going to see that you don't have no one else and they were both naked and they didn't have no shame from each other they loved each other they liked each other they were happy each other and there was no lacking between them at all thank you May the Creator bless us all to be always happy and to find the true souls of our beloved ones. Amen. We hope you enjoyed this video very much. Please now remember to subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit amuna.com. May your light shine always and your requests should be answered with the greatest blessings. Amen.